Have you ever seen something in Shinder Life and went, what the crap is that? Well, that's what this video is all about. In this video, I'll be telling you guys the top 10 most rare things in the entire game. Now, if by chance you actually have one of these things, feel free to comment below what it is and just flex on people. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember that like button, subscribe, and hope to see you next one, guys. Let's get right to the video. All right, so coming in 10th place is going to be 10 Goku Platinum. Now, you guys may be thinking, why is 10 Goku Platinum one here? Well, 10 Goku Platinum is actually one of the most rare skins in the game right now because, first of all, it had an extremely rare rare which was actually one out of 400 now you may be asking why is sengoku inferno not in here there is a very rational explanation for this more people have sengoku inferno than sengoku platinum but for sengoku it's an entirely different story because a lot of people already had sengoku because it wasn't um insanely hard to actually get so the people that actually already had sengoku they didn't spin to get sengoku platinum mostly because sengoku platinum looked almost the exact same so it ends up being one of the most rare skins as a result of nobody actually trying to spin for it the people that have it either bought it um just for a showcase or just to complete their bloodline collection i didn't do a showcase so don't look at me or they actually accidentally spun it while spinning for other bloodlines because as i said it was during an update so there was like a 50 spin code or something like that so you might have accidentally got it but that's literally it i never see this bloodline actually used in the game whenever i see someone use Sengoku, it is always normal to goku you can tell because there's a slight color difference to goku platinum is like white looking and then to goku is obviously you know light blue so yeah i almost never see anyone use Sengoku platinum and if you guys actually use it yourself for free to let me know now coming in ninth place is going to be gold jokai now this is going to be for the kind of the same reason as Tengoku platinum but it's multiplied by like 20 because nobody cared about this skin and i'm not saying it's bro game's fault i mean it's an okay looking skin it's just the reskin kind of like dark jokai but dark jokai you could buy from the road coin shop so nobody cared like at all because you could already get this from the road coin shop or you could just spin for light jokai and in my opinion dark jokai and light jokai actually look a lot better than gold jokai too so gold jokai kind of just it, it was a skin that nobody really cared about so nobody Nobody bought it and nobody spun for it everyone just saved their spins gojo guy just was kind of just a skin that nobody cared about the only reason someone may have got it is as previously mentioned it was completely an accident because it wasn't the most rare thing ever it was one out of 250 which you know it is not insanely rare but you know how it is insanely difficult to get someone that has this bloodline for a video because literally nobody has it i'm almost impressed by the, la the lack of how many people have this skin but there still is a you know okay amount of people hence why it's going to be in ninth place on this list have you ever gotten 80 spin rarity and gotten something like just atomic well that's because you haven't hit the like button on this video yet if you hit the like button on this video you're guaranteed to get 10 million times luck 100 percent the coming in eighth place is going to be the gazoma doe the gazoma doe indeed i know someone's going to get mad at me saying that so uh enjoy that pronunciation but yeah obviously the gazoma doe is going to be coming in eighth place mostly because when you're farming for the forge red boss a lot of people don't even kill the kill the gazoma doe in the actual fight and the only way to get this is by killing that boss you have to kill that boss and it even then it's it's a pretty decently rare drop chance for being a boss drop so a lot of people just never got it because it isn't insanely broken it does use the gazomado abilities but um sometimes it's completely useless sometimes it's amazing it just depends on the actual you know summon because it is randomized of course but for the actual ability itself it is you know increasingly difficult to get not just the fact that you actually do have to kill the gazoma doe boss not just the forge run boss so that if for that reason and that reason alone a lot of people do not have this a lot of people don't even bother getting it hence why it's going to be eighth place on this list now coveted seventh place is going to be the gen three tailed beast now the reason why it's going to be in seventh and not higher up on this list because a lot of people spend like days grinding for these like literally days like they come home from school well not school now because it is the summer but they came home from school and they're like mommy i'm gonna grind shadow life for eight hours and i'm going to go to sleep and that's what he did for like five days straight to get the tailed beast but for gen 3 you know jokes aside one out of 50 for a boss drop that takes five minutes to spawn so imagine one out of 50 imagine if you got it one out of 50 times which you actually don't it's actually a lot more rare than one out of 50 but imagine if you did get one out of 50 multiply 50 by five because that's how long it takes the boss to spawn so that is if you grinded this boss straight it would take you a thousand two hundred and fifty minutes to get the boss drop on a normal drop chance now for the people that do not actually want to do the math that is 21 hours of straight boss grinding i just want to put that out there because i know rogue games they feel like they they put all this time into their the, the, to their update and they do i think the gen 3s are one of some of the best updates in the game they look dope they look amazing they have really cool abilities 21 hours at the one out of 50 bot drop chance which you know that's not even how it like works usually it's actually a lot harder to get than 
what out of 50 it is because that is just that's just like that's just how drop chances work every single time you kill the boss it's a one out of 50 chance to get it it's not every 50 times you get it once that's just you know that's just the rate that you get it but it's not guaranteed sometimes it'll take you 200 tries sometimes it'll take you two that's just how it works but for the people that you know just for the average chance to get it 21 hours of straight grinding non-stop non-stop grinding it would take you 21 hours to basically get a full you know rates worth of boss drops from this so one out of 50 21 hours that is a long time to spend grinding a single boss in this game and i feel like this this just kind of puts to terms how the boss drop chances in this game the boss timers need reduced it's it, absolutely like i can understand why they would want to do it but i feel like they i feel like rel what they should do is actually make an alt and go grind the boss and i feel like that will help you know show them because you know i don't get everything given to me because i actually have to get things out before like everyone else so i have to do it myself to get it out as fast as possible because even though you know sometimes i am given things it takes days and i don't have days as a youtuber i have legitimately like hours if that so i'm just constantly grinding this boss and sometimes i take the entire night to get it just for a video i spend 10 to 12 hours of my life after an update straight to get it out for a video i that i like i understand that for other games it kind of makes sense but for shit life you're sitting there at a single boss every five minutes grinding it so yeah i did i went on a kind of a tangent about uh, the rare boss drops in this game but gen 3 literally just by statistics is insanely rare and the only reason people have is because they spent a ton of time getting it and for two gen threes i just want to put this out there that's 42 hours by the way i will be doing a challenge at 200,000 subscribers where i will be eating the world's hottest pepper and i will regret read it but i'm gonna do it anyways so if you want to see that just uh be ready for that now coming to sixth place it could be captain jokai now the reason why captain jokai is going to be on this list is one out of 500 drop chance it spawns for 30 minutes that's quite that's quite literally about it um a lot of people actually do have this because a lot of people have nothing better to do so they kind of just hop around to get it i am one of those people included sometimes i have got it for other people some people have got it as well um it, it doesn't take from the the fact that it is insanely rare to get it's just the reason why so many people have it is because they just do that i mean it's just fun to hop in servers sometimes and that's the reason why so many people have it but simply because a lot of people have it that's what's going to be on six on this list now a lot of you guys probably don't even know this exists but rap meteorite will be in fifth place now this spawns for five minutes it's like a one out of 50 drop chance and it only spawns for five minutes five minutes you have five minutes it takes about two minutes to hop servers if you have a decent pc if it, it might take you the entire five minutes to hop a server if you have an extremely slow computer that means you literally have like two chances to get this a day well not a day you have you have four chances if you do it in the morning and the night most people don't do that but that it combined with the fact that it is terrible so people don't even try to get it in the first place it makes it one of the most rare items in the game honestly the coming to fourth place is going to be the original diva run goku and not the skin now this is simply because people do not grind the diva run boss because diva run boss drops drops it drops it like it's hot you know what i'm saying like the the meteors literally one shot you a lot of people don't want to deal with that so they just buy it instead which is very understandable grinding diva is a headache and a half just because the boss will literally one shot you and you can't do anything the only thing you can do is reset and that's very very lame so i understand why people buy it but it doesn't subtract from the fact that diva ren is extremely rare to see in this game you will always see diva ren in a red and i'm i i would not be surprised if people thought that was the actual color of the bloodline because that is all people use now coming to third place it could be tintails gen 1 mode 2 now this is because tintails gen 1 actually getting it a lot of people already had it because they had it from previous like the boss dropped the event boss dropped it um people just got it from war mode but mode 2 is insanely hard to get if you see someone with mode 2 gen 1 then you better just shake their hand reach through the screen and shake their hand and say congratulations you got it because dungeons right now are very 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 difficult because they did buff them um which i guess it does make it a little more interesting but they are insanely hard now so people don't even do it and if they do do it a lot of times they don't even succeed because of just how hard it is even with multiple people so yeah this mode 2 of gen 1 is insanely rare and i would be surprised if i 
I ever saw anyone with it. Most of the time, people are just going to get the Gen 2. Now, coming to second place for very obvious reasons is the Gingerbread Man. Now, the reason why it's going to be second and not first is because Gingerbread Man ha did drop from the Diva Run boss, and that is where almost everyone that has Gingerbread actually got it from. It was from the Diva Run event. The people that weren't there to during the Diva Run event most likely will never get Gingerbread Man. Uh, they don't really reduce it during Christmas either anymore. They did it for the first time. They don't anymore. So, yeah, Gingerbread just going to be there as this one out of, like, I think it's, like, 500. It might be 300 or 200 now. But it's insanely rare. It's impossible to get while hopping. And the only people that have got it while hopping most likely did it while during Christmas and want to make it look like they did it. Now, Auto Retro 1 is going to be Vapor Inner Spirit. Now, this is going to be in here simply because the it's very, very difficult to actually get this. But there's some, like, glitches in the game and stuff like that that allow you to get it very easily. Like, it, and a lot of people actually owned it from before it was like this. So there's not really much to say about this. It's mostly going to be in here just because of the mystery that is around the actual mode itself. Now, Auto Retro 2, I'm not going to talk about this that much, but it's going to be Naramaki Ruby. Naramaki Ruby is going to be an Auto Retro 2 because it is the Naramaki skin that isn't in the Rokoid shop. Y Yang is the one that almost everyone has because it is in the Rokoid shop. Ruby is not, and Ruby was also pretty rare to get at the start because I think it was only up for like a few days, if I'm not mistaken. But it is the best looking Naramaki skin, and a lot of people have it just because of how good it looks. So they got it while it was out. And that's the reason why it's actually going to be an Auto Retro 2 instead of actually being, you know, on the list. By the way, guys, what is the most rare item that you actually own or what is just your favorite rare item in the game what is just something that you just you feel like you need to flex constantly for me to tell me the comments below we'll be checking them out now coming to first place is going to be riser inferno and i would not be surprised if you guys said what the heck is riser inferno not only is it not rare but people literally just don't give a crap about it a lot of people forget that riser inferno even exists now simply because of this riser inferno um first of all when it first came out it came during the middle of the week where people didn't have they either didn't have spins saved up for the skin or they didn't even spin because no new bloodline came out it was just a skin that came out not to mention the fact that the actual skin itself looks almost the exact same as bankai inferno the only difference is that the mode is purple instead of red that is the only difference like it's instead of the red it's dark purple and it only affects the mode i'm pretty sure like the actual abilities it's very very hard to discern the actual abilities from one another but the mode does look different color wise so nobody even bothered getting it nobody wasted their spins getting it nobody tried to get it and it also was like actually pretty rare too so the rarity was one out of 300 for this now you guys may be thinking oh that's not that rare there's one out of 400 ones for something that nobody cared about and almost nobody spun for almost nobody bought that is extremely rare because nobody can even it's very hard to even get that accidentally the people that have riser photo either had so many spins that they didn't even know what to do with it or they just straight up bought it because they thought it was a new bloodline and ended up being the same bloodline as bankai inferno now i I, I'm not lying when I say this, and I'm being dead serious. I have never seen this bloodline. I There's a lot of things that I, you know, don't see very often, like I've seen once or twice in my total experience of Shindle Life. Ever since this skin came out, and it's been a very long time since it came out, and it is a true limited, by the way, so it will never be out again. I have never seen this skin. Never. The only people that have it are either YouTubers that bought it for a showcase, or people that are just collected bloodlines and happened to be there at the time. This skin is so rare, it is actually amazing, and I think the fact that that I have never seen this other than me using it kind of proves the point of just how rare the skin is. And it's simply rare because nobody cared when it came out. So nobody got it. And since it's a limited skin, it's impossible to get now. Anyways, guys, it's actually weird for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember that like, subscribe, post it to guys. Peace.